Have you been trying to create a multilingual website on Wix? Well, if so, it's your lucky day. Wix has officially released their multilingual capabilities and there is no longer any need of worrying about creating duplicate sites, creating duplicate sub buttons, anything like that. Wix has solved the solution. If you're just joining us, Welcome to the Wix Training Academy. I hope you'll find this channel and this video helpful. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss any Wix training content. Like this video and comment if you've got any questions at any point during the video. If you're joining us back, welcome back. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Comment if you've got any questions and if you've watched my multilingual videos before, you know that this is going to be an awesome Surefire solution. Last but not least, guys, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Link in the description below. Click yes, I want a free Wix content and register completely free for my Wix Training Academy packed with courses, webinars, and more. Go check that out. Now let's jump into the editor and talk about the new multilingual solution Wix has provided. Guys, I'm super happy to announce it and I'm going to explain to you how to go about adding it. So before we had to go to add apps and type in multilingual. That is no longer a thing. Now what we have to do in order to create an exclusively multilingual site is we're going to go up to settings and we're going to scroll down to where it says multilingual. We're going to click that and then we're going to watch the magic happen. Multilingual is going to pop up and you're going to see this little pop-up light box that says make your site global. We're going to click get started. You're going to choose the main language of your website. In this case, it's English for me and it's the United States. That's where I live. That's my language. You could come in here, choose any one of their languages, any bit here, and then choose any flag for your corresponding main language country, whatever country that may be for you. Then you're going to click next. You then choose what language you want to add to your list first. So this is your multilingual. So you're essentially choosing the other languages you're going to have on your website. So in this case, I'm just going to keep it easy and I'm just going to find Spanish. And I'm just going to choose Spanish because that's the only one I somewhat know. And we'll just go with Spain. We'll choose it Spanish and Spain as the main flag. We'll then click next. Then you'll click start now. So when we do this, guys, you're going to see something. One, you're going to see a button added right here, okay? This is our language menu button. This will allow us to switch in between languages, right? So it will give us the ability to actually switch between English and Spanish. We can click on this to manage menu. You can choose what's visible and what's not visible. But the more important part here, and by the way, you can design this too. You can design the look, the feel of it, uh, just simply by clicking or hovering over it, and you could change the design. Uh, you can go from a square design to a dark design to a round design to a straight up just text design, whatever you'd like. And then what we actually have to do to create the multilingual site is there's now a new addition to the editor. Up here in the top left corner, you can see switch languages. So if you click this button, it allows you to flip between your English website and your Spanish website, or in this case, whatever two languages you have. So what that means is this is all the same website, but it's just switching to the different site in the editor. So once we click Spanish, what we'd have to do is we'd have to come in here and edit the content and translate it for Spanish content. So we're still translating the content. We're still, you know, changing the content over to the correct language. But this time you don't have to worry about duplicating pages manually. It duplicates the entire website and allows you to change exclusively between languages. And you'll notice that your little language menu changes up here at the top to the corresponding language. So if we change this one, let's just... I'm going to go with something very generic here, guys, and you will probably make fun of me, but I'll go with hola. Okay, so we'll go with hola right here on our Spanish site. But let me show you how this works, right? So if, if we flip back here to our English site, we'll notice that once it loads up here, it's remained at bud. So whatever differences you make on each site, it won't affect the other language. So if you change stuff on the English site, it won't affect the Spanish site. If you change stuff on the Spanish site, it won't affect the English site. And it's that simple. And now if we click preview, 
All we have to do to switch in between the sites as a visitor is change this language. So, okay, we want to change to Spanish. Perfect. We click that. And just like that, our Spanish site is now live and ready. You can see how this switched to Ola. That's the only piece of content I switched. You have to come through here and switch the content specific to your languages and change and translate the content to your languages. So after you come in here and actually translate the content, you now officially have two different languages. Now, if you'd like to actually edit that and add more languages, if we double click this and manage languages, it'll pull up a uh, light box again. And it'll actually be in the dashboard itself of our website. And we can come in here and we could click add language. You can even choose to show your Spanish site. Um, what that means is it would show it uh, d um, default rather than English default, but English is the main language, so it shows English default. But we could come in here, we could change the flag, we could change the locale, and we could even delete the language if we wanted to. But to add a language, we would do the same thing, click add language, come in here, let's just uh, say we go for French, right? We say the flag is France, we click add language, and then what would happen is, is we've now added a French option. So if we X out of this and we come up here, you can see a French version of the site has now been added and we could come into the French version and we could change the content translated over to French. And now we have a English version, a Spanish version and a French version. It works seamlessly across all Wix uh, websites. So now you never have to worry about the clunky old system of creating a multilingual website. This is your all in one solution. Wix really took the time on this. Uh, as a Wix design expert, we had early access beta to this and it was a big time deal because Wix has been in the works creating this for quite a while. So definitely make sure you throw a thumbs up down below if this video helped you out. Comment if you have any questions at, at all. And if you'd like me to cover something more in depth or dive deeper into this, I will. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, if you found any value from this content today. And if so, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below, and get more and more free Wix content on my free Wix Training Academy. There's no catch at all. It's free, and this is for you guys so I can continue to help provide as much value possible. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will catch you in our next one. Thank you very much, and happy multilingual to you.